together at the table. I'm Andrew Phillips, a dedicated storyteller and program maker who has been blessed with the opportunity to sit at tables with artists, leaders, sports stars and personalities from all corners of the globe. And through these encounters, I have witnessed firsthand the profound impact they have had on our planet. I'd like to talk with you about a new Integrity Music podcast called Together at the Table a place where faith and fellowship converge. It would be great if you could join us on this incredible journey of spiritual exploration. We are drawing inspiration from the Gospels, where we learn that Jesus, who lived for 33 years, dedicated a significant portion of his time to sitting at tables and attentively listening to people. In following this example, Together at the Table seeks to bring people together, to explore life's vibrant colours through the lens of the Christian faith. Integrity Music presents this podcast as a divine avenue to foster love, sharing, listening, and learning from one another. Our table is one that rejects judgment and embraces the beauty of diversity, welcoming individuals from all walks of life. Irrespective of who you are or where you come from, We firmly believe that you have a rightful place at our table. Each person carries a unique and captivating story within them, a story intricately woven by God's grace. In this space, we seek to deepen our understanding of God's plan for our lives and the impact we can have on the world around us. So I invite you to join us at Together at the Table. Let your voice be heard, your story be shared, and your wisdom be cherished. Together we will embark on a remarkable journey of connection, spiritual growth, and a deeper relationship with our Lord. A sanctuary where stories intertwine, hearts are touched, and lives are forever changed by the power of faith. May God's grace guide us as we come together to glorify his name. In the upcoming series Together at the Table, we will have the privilege of engaging in conversations with numerous talented artists and songwriters from the Integrity Music family. One of the remarkable individuals we'll be speaking with is Zach Bolan, the lead singer of Citizens. Zach's music has an extraordinary ability to resonate with people from all corners of the world. His latest album, titled I Can't Find the Edges of You, serves as a profound testament to his personal faith journey and his heartfelt mission to spread the love of Jesus to others through his artistry. In a recent conversation with Zach, I had the opportunity to delve deeper into his spiritual perspective. Curious about the profound encounter that sitting at a table with Jesus would bring, I asked Zach what he would say to him in such a sacred moment. His response encapsulated the depth of his faith and his genuine desire to connect with the Saviour on a profound and personal level. Zach, it's so good to be with you uh, and, you know, for you giving up so much of your busy time to share with us. But I, I thought the best way for us to start today would be to do the right thing, which is to invite Jesus to our table. And um, would you welcome him today, Zach? Yes. Jesus, uh, come be with us, sit with us, <laughs> guide us, lead us, give us Give us your eyes, your ears. Help us listen like you do and respond gracefully like you do. I'd like to ask you first off to explain the table that you work at. Talk us through that. So uh, this table, it's kind of a new one for me because it goes up and down. (laughs) And I can stand at it and I can sit at it. 
but at this table, I've stared at a screen a lot and sometimes wondered, why am I sitting here when I could be outside writing or doing something else or sitting at my piano writing song? So I'm trying to spend a little less time at this one in particular. But uh, it has been a place of a lot of productivity. And that's mostly in the spirit of just songwriting and, and making things for for people to hopefully enjoy and also maybe travel with them in their own journey through faith and life. And if you sat on a table with Jesus and he was reclining at your table, what would be the discussion? Oh my goodness. What a question. I, I You know what's so interesting is the more I grow in faith, the less I'm interested in answers and the more I'm just curious to know where Jesus was going when he was thinking that or when he said that. And so I, I don't know that I'd really have much of a agenda outside of just tell me what you want me to hear today. <laughs> that would be enough for me. On December 23rd, I experienced the heartbreaking loss of my father after a courageous three-year battle with stage four cancer. At the age of 83, he was not only a retired minister, but also a devoted soul who dedicated his life to sharing the love and hope of Jesus with anyone he encountered. Throughout his entire journey, He remained steadfast in his faith, finding solace in singing and speaking about his profound love for Jesus until his very last moments. The absence of my father has left a void in my life and the life of my family, and it can never be filled. He and my mother shared an incredible bond for 62 years always placing the Lord at the center of their existence. Their unwavering devotion to their faith served as an inspiration to us all. And while we grieve his loss deeply, we find comfort in knowing that he is finally free from pain and has found his eternal place at the table with the Lord. During one of our final conversations before his passing, I had the privilege of discussing a topic that was close to his heart together at the table. In those precious moments, I asked him a few questions, cherishing the opportunity to connect with him on a profound level. This podcast is based on a a very simple scripture, which is uh, Luke 11, verse 37, where a Pharisee asked him, Jesus, to have lunch with him, and he went in and reclined at the table. And I was going to ask, why do you think Jesus liked to sit at tables with people. It's interesting that um, because I guess uh, what I discovered uh, a, a preacher, a, a Jewish Messianic Christian, um, and he was trying to explain that, that, that the tables are not the tables like we used to, that we do have now, but they were places at which you reclined. And so you kind of, you were head first facing your audience or your, your, your guests and that sort of thing. And so each person was in this kind of almost like a round effect. Uh, whether that's true or not, I, I really don't know, but it kind of gave me a different perspective on, uh, you know, the fact that Jesus was a willing listener. He was good at, at taking up on things that people left unsaid, you know, that's, that's an incredible thing, really, because often when you ask people questions and, and there's all this talk, sometimes it's very flippant. The conversation is not necessarily very deep. But what I find with the Lord is that when he reclined at the table, I get the fact that he always saw into a situation. And as a consequence of that, it, it, it often wasted no time with conversation flippance, you know, extra unnecessary stuff. Um, uh, but he was able to get to the point. And that's why so many people to whom he talked always 
had a resolution to their problem quickly. And I think that's the, that's the benefit of listening to, to the Lord at the table, or that's why he, and that's why he went and, and reclined at the table, because he was not only a good listener, but he was a good discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of men's hearts. I find that fascinating. I wanted to ask you, if you could choose anybody now um, who's with us still or sadly might have passed on to sit at a table with you, who would that be and why? Oh, dear. I'd, li I'd like to talk to mum and dad because I never really got the chance hmm. to talk. I, uh, I talked, mum mum would talk, but dad was not a talker. <laughs> and I often look back over the, the, the little moments that we had together. And I, and I would just love to talk to him and find out his heart. I think he had a hard time expressing himself. He was never afraid to talk about Jesus, but to open his heart. I, I always remember how the one birthday present I'll always remember was when I was 16. And mom and Nana, they were all doing their best to, 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 to give me uh, a nice surprise. And dad had bought a present for me, you know, and, and he wanted it kept a secret because he wanted to give it to me. And that was the first time he'd ever given me anything of any value. But Nana couldn't keep a secret. <laughs> and she blurted it out. And of course, Dad, he was really quite upset about it. But I, I remember him bringing me this beautiful harmonica, 64 chromatic. He said, this is for you, my son. Oh, it bless my heart. It's my heart. Hmm. Because, you know, it was not an easy man to express his love. But that gift said everything. Yeah. Yeah. That I'd, I'd just love to have a five-minute chat yeah. with mum and dad. Yeah. And say how much I love you. How much I love you. But one day, hope, I hope that they will be there when I see them. Yeah. Yeah. That's special. And if you were able to um, sit at the table with Jesus. Yeah. What would you yes. say? Absolutely nothing but Jesus. 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 Never have I heard a name so rare. And all the, all the songs of Jesus would just all fade into that one word. But the choirs of heaven would help me sing a song to him if I could. In between sobs, even in between silences. But Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And I would, I'm sure, be absolutely speechless. Any words I spoke would be under my breath. That's all. Mm. What can you say? <laughs> what can you say to the one who saved you? By his grace. Yeah. Together at the table. We believe that Jesus, as the epitome of love and acceptance, exemplified the power of gathering around a table to foster unity, connection, and genuine care for one another. In that spirit, we invite you to join us in this endeavor by sharing your own personal stories of meaningful encounters and experiences at your own tables. Our aim is to ignite a collective inspiration that encourages others to view the world through the lenses of grace and compassion. So we kindly request you to join us at our table. Pull up a chair, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and embark on a profound journey together. 
Let us delve into the exquisite beauty and intricate tapestry of life as we gather together at the table with Jesus as our guiding light.